Jace, the backdrop of the custard factory just been announced that you're fighting Matt Macklin. You must be over the moon. Yeah, I'm over the moon. Um, I've been in limbo the last couple of weeks. So obviously, I've had been told I'm fighting Sam Higgins for the British and Commonwealth, and I've got to get back down to Welter, and I've got to rush and fight the 12th. And I've been, but last night when I, when I heard that, I, my head just cleared, and I thought, you know what, this is this is the fight. What obviously can open a hell of a lot of doors. He's a top, he's a top kid from around the area. He's done brilliant in his career so far. He's gone three world titles. So for me to beat Matthew Matlin, it's just going to boost me and open open so many doors. But um, it is, it's, that's my natural weight, light middle weight. I have to try hard to get to it, but it's a bit more, it's a bit more easier and my key is my strength. You, you was prepared to take the Eggington fight. Obviously, as you say, you would have had to drop down to Welter for that. I imagine when you were told that Eggington was then going in with Gavin, there was a bit of disappointment, but then Within seconds, when you're told you got a shot at somebody of Matt Macklin's ability in Birmingham on a massive Sky Matchroom show, as I say, I mean, it's, it's just what you want. So, I mean, it's a it's a brilliant opportunity for me. It's like a world title fight for me, and like Harry just said. So, obviously, he's going to be training hard because he wants to get back up to world level. But obviously, I'm in there to get me where I'm going to get. I either just come in there for the money and just basically to just to make this bill up because I'm going to try and hard and this is it now I've had lack short notice fights and that and um, I say it's probably made for me he's strong he's going to be wanting to stand and try and, try and blast me out so obviously whatever he, I'm going to be 110% and I'm going to be whatever he's got to offer I'm going to be there and it'd be nice to get him someone who's done that you know what I mean obviously I'll take my hat off to him but um, it's boxing and I ain't going to I ain't, when it comes to boxing, I ain't got no art. I ain't gonna treat him with no respect or nothing. So he, I hope he's training hard out there in Marbella or like whatever. So um, that's it. That's all I got to say. With the greatest respect to to, to Matt, it, it might actually be an easier fight than Eggington, especially yeah, the way well, that you're more comfortable that's with. That's what I mean. He's stepping down from Marbella. He's getting on a bit now. He's 32. He's had some hard fights. He's had some bad knockouts. He might be a bit, bit shocked like at the minute. Like so, I'm young, fresh. I'm up and coming. So. You know what I mean, it's it's a both home fight. It's bet it's gaining him. It's on his arm turn. It's benefiting me. So it's a good bill, and Eddie Earns is the man to be with, and he's putting the brilliant shows on, and it's going to be a top show for uh, Birmingham. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's it's only just sunk it's only just sunk into that press conference, but it's me. I'm on this show, and I've you know what I mean. This is it now. 